Hello Capricorns, this is an X reading to see where you and your X are for January 3rd through the 9th. Let's see what's going on for you Capricorns. Capricorn and your X, please show me. Capricorn and your X. What's going on for Capricorn and their X? The Hierophant. I think this is you standing in your own truth. There was something in the past that you felt like you needed to show a strong face to to have faith in in yourself in what you believe here this Taurus energy person you're dealing with Aquarius energy here um, very disappointed in something probably disappointed in um, the commitment that you guys shared that it was broken quite possibly but there's, there's heartbreak around something for the other individual that you're dealing with. You guys could have been married, for sure. This is you right now. <clears throat> I think you're moving forward towards something better suited for you. Um, something that you're excited about. Cancer energy. Kind of looking back, reflecting on the past. Um, thinking about the things that the 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 things that held you in place for so long, um, quite possibly you felt rooted, you felt held down. And so now you're moving forward in a positive direction. I feel like um, some of you are actually moving. Um, some of you are moving, like leaving churches, um, I feel. I don't know why I got that, but yeah. This is where the person that you're dealing with this is what they're doing right now. This is where they are. I almost I get the feeling that they want to reconcile. They're wanting to be happy, but they don't just want to be happy, I feel like, by themselves. They want commitment. They want a loving commitment. And what I mean by that is sometimes you can be committed with someone but you know you guys can be committed to each other but not committed to making each other happy is what i'm getting but they want they want genuine like happiness fulfillment um this is going to be actually what you guys want let's see what this capricorn want i feel like I feel like you want the same thing that the other person wants. You know, you you just don't want the issues that you had before. You're wanting to like reconcile whatever differences you guys had because I feel like that was truly a burden. That was holding you guys back is what I'm getting. You just want to resolve those issues. I feel like a lot of you too are willing to to do whatever you need to do to make this commitment um, a successful one moving forward. Let's see what um, what your ex wants here. We have Pisces Aquarius energy for your ex. Okay, could be Sagittarius as well, Cancer. What they want, I feel, is to um, is to tell you, is to speak, tell the truth about what it is that they truly want from this connection, from you. They're excited about it too. They're, they're like really wanting to rush in. If they haven't already, I feel like this is something that is going to be made known to you. I honestly feel like that. Let's see what you guys need. What does Capricorn need? Strong Aquarius, Pisces type of energy. What does Capricorn need? I feel like you need to give this a chance is what I'm getting. Um, if this is what makes you happy reuniting with um, this individual, then I feel like you could do what makes you happy. Only you know what that is, okay? Do what makes you happy. 
If it's being with this individual, if it's getting back with this individual, so be it. You know, if it makes you happy, if it truly makes you happy. Let's see what they need to do. I feel like they need to um, really kind of take accountability for themselves is what I'm getting from the Emperor. Um, be strong, be steadfast, um, be a rock, be supportive, be protective, be confident that they are able to, to speak and say the things that they need to say and mean what they say to hold down their family. That's what I'm getting. This Aries energy there. We have Cancer in your reading. Taurus, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Pisces, again, like I said. Um, could be any sign. Excuse me, but um, that's just the energy I see present. Let's see what the outcome is for cancer. Cancer. Capricorn. Here. I feel like you guys are trying to protect yourselves. This is your card, Capricorn. I feel like you are you are trying to protect yourself from from any heartache um i feel like you know i think you you feel like this person has involved you in a third party relationship or either that's what you're afraid of and that's what you have felt before that, oh, oh, see, okay, this just flipped over, the strength, I think you need to be strong enough to open up, strong enough to be open up, to open up, I'm sorry, I'm tired, guys, um, and give this connection, this reconnection a chance, if that is what you feel will make you happy. Um, the thing about this is you have to um, be observant, use your power of discernment, and you will you will know your in, your intuition will tell you whether or not someone is doing something shady that you possibly need to address and remove yourself from, you know. But the need here is for you to do what makes you happy. At the end of the day if you are willing to you know go forward with this individual you're willing to go through the ups and downs then um, if that's what you want in this you know and this commitment then go for that if you feel like you need to hold on um, you know hold yourself close and not extend yourself to somebody because you know you feel like they may put you in this um, this you know three-party kind of relationship or situationship then you know hold on you know don't don't extend yourself like that so whatever it is you feel like you will make you happy what's best for you then that's what you do okay let's see what the outcome is for cancers keep saying cancer dang it um, it may just very well be a Cancer Leo type of individual that you're dealing with because we have Leo here. We have Fire here. We have Cancer here. And we have Cancer here. So quite possibly like Cancer Leo energy for a lot of you. Um, and then we have um, Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces. Okay. Sagittarius. I don't know if I said that already. All right, guys. Let's see what the outcome is. Let's wrap this up. Oh, two cards are stuck together. Look at this. <laughs> you 
your couple. I feel you guys will this is this is this is your cancer person right here. And I feel strongly that this is you guys. Male or female, it doesn't matter, okay? But I feel one of you is, you know, a, a lot more um, emotional in the way that you interact. And the other one is a lot more intellectual um, in the way they communicate, in the way they interact, okay? So I feel like... I feel like you guys are moving towards being together energetically, okay? Um, Cancer, I don't know if you'll actually be the one to initiate this. I keep saying Cancer. Capricorn, um, I don't know if you'll actually be the one to initiate this. But I see you actually really wanting to... Um, speak on this this ten of cups here this is how this is how it's laying you want to talk about this you want to talk about this connection this relationship here we go this is this is a um, committed relationship as well moving forward here Looking right at the commitment, want to move forward. Okay, so my Capricorns, that's what I have for you guys. And um, I will be speaking with you soon. I am exhausted. And um, that's what I have for you guys. All right, talk to you later.